What's up guys, my name is Zero Heroes and welcome back to more Call to Arms and today we are coming back with the top 10 list of infantry that I think are going to be very useful on the battlefield and I'm going to be giving you my opinion on my favourite top 10 infantry in Call to Arms as well with the German squad but just remember this, just because it's with the German nation it goes as with all the factions as well because they're roughly the same so without further ado let's get started and let's go so my first my by the way we're going at number one being the best my favorite infantry group from 10 being to the worst uh, of my favorites so let's get started so my the number one in my top 10 is the at group now the at group is probably one of the one of the best and useful infantry assets you will have at your disposal and the reason i say this is because when you have tanks when you can't afford tanks in the first rounds of the battle against the ai or your friends the at are going to be very useful at taking out lightly armored vehicles such as maybe like the dingo or such as maybe a humvees or such as that and um, as well as technicals when you're up against the grms or the russians so or the americans like i said against the humvees so very useful with the um with the AT groups, especially when they have two uh, other uh, people that are kind of supporting as well um, with the AT trip as well. So very useful with the with the AT soldier. Okay, now moving on to number two. And the number two is the engineers. The engineers are, again, one I would say one of the best, if not the best, useful infantry units there. And the reason I didn't put it as number one is because you can't do you can't really fight back with the engineers they're kind of lacking firepower i mean they've got some nice decent guns but they're just lacking a wee bit of firepower but with the engineers you can actually do a lot of stuff with the tank unfortunately with tank crews you can't repair tanks but with engineers you can repair tanks you can set you can put down uh you can put down barricades you can put down barbed wires you can put foxholes down you can put down tank traps as well so there's actually a lot you can do with engineers uh, and that and that's why it's at number two because i feel like they're just very useful when you have to defend against an era and you're and you're trying to set up a good defense that's where the engineers will definitely come into great use for e even if there's like a dead tank that needs to be repaired the engineers will definitely be uh, a very good choice Okay, moving on to number three, which is the tank crew. Now, the tank crew is, the reason I put it at number three is because I would still say they're very useful in the fact that they can, well, they can basically crew tanks. That's really all they're good for. They do have a wee bit of firepower, but they're their firepower is very lacklustre with only having an mp7 on their hand, which is actually still a decent gun. I think it's a full auto gun, but... To be honest, they haven't got any body armor on them. They haven't got anything, you know, they don't have anything, you know, good for them. The only thing that they're good at is for driving tanks. And they can fix the tank. They can't fix the hull of tanks, but they can fix, like, the tracks and I think the engine as well. So I would say that tanks are still very, very useful in the battlefield when there's a tank down. And they're reasonably cheap as well. So definitely keep your eye out for engineers. Okay, number three is we're now actually moving on to the proper infantry and this is the um this is the shout the schwitzen troops uh, i don't know why i said that wrong i'm sorry i've got a piece of paper here to make sure i'm correct i don't know if that's how you pronounce it the schwitzen i'm i'm sure a lot of you will probably correct me down in the comments down below but these are very good starting off infantry i would highly recommend that you guys them they've got some decent firepower they've got some decent decent some decent um armor on them as well and they're a very good starting infantry group if you want to just get into the battle and they're reasonably cheap as well with only being 150 points and you could start off with the uh, with the ones below them but they're basically useless you're base you're you're basically better off getting the sh the shouts and because they are better in every way and i think there's probably more of them as well okay moving on to number four which i believe which I put as the support team. Now the support team carry quite a lot of useful stuff. The uh, where are they? I'm trying to find them. 
the support team actually have a medic with them which is very useful they also have uh, different types of guns with them as well i believe um which is very nice. unfortunately they, they only come as a group of three which is quite unfortunate but to be honest i think that quite nicely balanced them out quite evenly and quite fairly um so i would very much take these out if you're let's say you don't have any points and you can't afford any of the troops here the support team is a very good choice considering they have a medic it has a medic as well to revive its own troops uh, when in the battlefield whereas the starting troops don't even have a medic so these guys are very useful and definitely are in my top 10. Next number five we are moving on to the sniper team now the sniper team are actually I don't use them a lot but I would say they're still very very useful and they are very you can see they've got some nice camouflage and I would definitely put this in my top 10 because they're very good at long range you can put them in a bush and a lot of enemies won't see them especially tanks as well when you hide them in a bush right beside them because of that camouflage and they're very good at just killing enemies in one shot whereas the rest of the infantry have to take a couple shots to kill them so it's very very good that the that some of the that the sniper rifle is definitely in my top 10 especially when one of them carries a g22 and the other a g3a3 which is basically just a normal rifle with a very advanced sniper scope on it i think so definitely in my top 10 okay moving on to number six which is the mg troop now the mg troop are slightly more expensive than the schwartz but they're definitely another highly recommendation of mine because they're carrying more advanced weapons i would say they last longer in battle than than the schwartz and they have uh you're now carrying a, a like a, a a machine gun now a really kind of light machine gun the mg3 and also they also have a medic as well within the group so that's definitely very very useful and to be honest they're not that expensive with their only 200 uh, manpower but definitely save up um for maybe something a wee bit better but definitely if you're you in the first parts of the battle you're only going to afford either the first two but definitely i would get the mg troop considering they have a machine gun and they can pin down enemy men um, and suppress them as well with medics who need to heal them so definitely again in my top 10 okay moving on next is to the one one of the most advanced infantry groups in the squad and that is the ksk now the ksk are again i feel like one of the best better than marines better than than the soviets uh, i don't uh, actually i don't know if it's better than the soviets but they're definitely really really good and They've got all their all the KSK have um have silencers on them as well, so they're they won't be uh, they won't be heard as loudly, and they definitely have a lot more armor than the rest of the troops here, and I think they're just um they wouldn't say they're not my top priority because they are actually quite expensive, being at five hundred and five manpower, so definitely maybe one of my last resorts if I have to go like balls deep into the into the enemy if I'm running low man or from you know about to get overrun I would definitely choose the KSK okay ninth now moving on to the ninth which is the Falschmakers which are just below the KSK now the reason I put them uh, above just because they're not as good as the Falschmaker uh, so they're not as good as the KSKs um, although they do unfortunately again they are only in only running groups of three which is quite weird I'm pretty sure there was more um i don't know actually is that part of that um i actually don't know okay no they're not so they're only coming groups of three which is kind of annoying but or they should come as no more but i don't know where the rest are but basically um wait oh i'm i don't know i'm getting for so basically yeah they're they're still very useful i would say they're they're not as much as a function as a ksk which puts them at 450 but i would say they're not really worth it when you're quite close to getting the ksk units i would just save up for the ksk units and just don't bother with the falsh makers unless you're desperate for them then get the falsh makers um, definitely one of my top picks um or my top 10 as well and lastly but not least we are going with the elite german marksmans now i wouldn't i wouldn't expect many of you to think i put them as my last um as 10th but i just feel like they are amazing and they do have this camel but 
The only thing that's stopping them from going any further is that I wish there was maybe more of them. More, considering there's only three, if they had maybe four or five, like two more troops, I would definitely maybe put them up to maybe six or fifth. But the fact that they're kind of, they're, they are the elites, but I just feel like there could be more of them. And I just feel like the guns that they have is good and they have the same kind of camouflage as snipers. But I just feel like that there's just not many of them, which is very lacklustering, and I feel like they could still die quite easily. Um, and but they do have the armor; they do they can take a couple of hits. But overall, I just think that to be honest, I wouldn't use them in many situations, rarely, except from maybe when I have to, when I have really no manpower, and I maybe would need to go with the elites. Then definitely I would go with them. But except from that, then I'm sorry, I just wouldn't. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is my top ten favorites of, or my most, uh, my top picks for the infantry units. Now, if you want to see me do this for the Americans or the any other faction, then let me know down in the comments down below because I would like to hear your your uh, your thoughts on this. So, guys, yeah, uh, let me know if you would have done if you would have put them in a different order or you would have done anything different um would you have maybe put the elites at number one or would you maybe put the at at number five let me know down in the comments below and let me know what your thoughts on about this the series is so far because i'll leave the first the first top 10 that i did below which was actually a top nine but other than that guys um i just like to say thank you so much for watching and if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe to this channel because you will get a shout out at the end of every single video and stream that I do. And mentioning that, I do actually have a few subscriber shout outs to do. So let's get to it. So a big shout out to Chester uh, Dekos De Dekowski. Dekowski. I'm sorry I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but thank you very much for subscribing. A big shout out to, to Wasabi to sorry what to wasp to not wasabi waspy willy i'm sorry i'm pronouncing your name wrong but thank you very much for subscribing um of course i'll put all the 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 names on the screen uh just now or as i say them a big shout out to john m a thank you very much for subscribing and i think that's it um oh also a big shout out to chris uh piet pietraf I don't, I'm just going to say thank you for subscribing, Chris. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but thank you very much. Um, I think that's also it. I think that's it. Um, oh, no. Also, a big shout out to uh, Caleb Dowling. Thank you very much for subscribing. And also, a big shout out to Lip Lipeps. Thank you very much for subscribing. And a big shout out to Phil Colbreth. Thank you very much for subscribing. A big shout out to Michael Edric Edrington. I don't thank you for subscribing. I definitely butchered your last name, but thank you very much. So guys, there we go. That is it for today. If you guys want a shout out like these guys, make sure you stay tuned to the channel for more content like this. And thank you so much for watching and our sport. And I will see you in the next video. See you later and goodbye.